everyone welcome back to lifestyle love now a lot of people have been asking me how I stay fit and healthy especially you know working full-time and having a two and a half year old little boy and two dogs and before I disclose or share anything I want to make sure that you know two things one I am NOT a doctor I am NOT a nutritionist I'm not a naturopath and I'm definitely not a personal trainer second thing that you need to know is I have a shocking sweet tooth. I love cupcakes, I love chocolate, I love cheese, I love champagne, and pizza, pasta, bring it on. Having said that though, I do during the week, Monday to Friday, try and be as healthy as possible. Personally, I find if I start the day with a healthy meal, I'll feel good about myself and I feel inspired and encouraged to continue on eating healthily. So I often try and have a green um, smoothie at some time during the day. I'm having a salad for lunch or some sushi even, but just try and keep it as clean as possible for the majority of the day. So then I don't need to feel as guilty if I have some chocolate at night time. One thing I've been doing for probably more than two years is something called intermittent fasting. Now for people who don't know what intermittent fasting is, it sounds pretty brutal and, and cruel, but you basically, you know, stay away from eating any, consuming any food for an extended period of time, or you reduce your calorie intake for an extended period of time. And that period of time can range between 14 hours all the way up to, say, 24 hours. Now, I never go that extreme up to 24 hours because I know I just couldn't cope. But I try to fast at least once per week, if not twice. And normally I can find myself able to go for about 18, 19 hours before I have my first meal. The principle behind intermittent fasting, it's kind of like, imagine you're sitting at a desk and you're going through some paperwork and then people continuously keep on dumping more and more paperwork and it's piling up around you and you start feeling overwhelmed, stressed, and you start freaking out thinking, how am I ever going to get through this? I can barely see the paperwork I'm currently trying to get through. The principle behind intermittent fasting is you tell those other people to stop, stop putting paperwork on your desk to go away and tell them that you just want to focus on, on getting through the paperwork that you're currently going through. That's the idea with food. You allow your body to focus on processing the foods already in your system and digest it and I guess recalibrate your body. I found out about this um, style of uh, I guess fasting or a lifestyle habit through I think it's Michael Molesley's um, documentary and I'll include a link below because it's it is a long documentary, but it's fascinating, and the science behind fasting is actually incredible. Now, the reason why I do fasting actually has nothing to do with weight loss. And yes, I probably um, am a, you know, a little bit lighter than what I previously was before I did intermittent fasting, but I do not do it for any um, weight loss benefits. If I am trying to lose weight, I just simply cut out or cut down the processed food. Now, as I mentioned, there's amazing science behind intermittent fasting, and there are also lots of different styles and techniques um, as to how you can fast. And everyone, you know, I think you, as if you try it and you like it, you'll find your own unique way that fits in with your routine as to how to fast. But one of the, there's, I've got four, no, five, sorry, main points with backing the science behind intermittent fasting so that you understand this is not about being cruel to your body, but actually helping it and helping it regenerate. One is it reduces the risk of diabetes. From fasting, your insulin level drops and your human growth hormone increases, which allows your body to repair, which is really important. Two, it reduces inflammation. Three, it improves risk against heart disease, um, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. Four, in some studies, it reduced the risk of cancer, which I think is an amazing um, study or science alone to consider intermittent fasting. Five, it improves the growth of neurons within the brain. Now, this is probably the main reason or the main scientific reason that I do intermittent fasting because it helps the growth of neurons, which reduces the risks of things like Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, and other sort of neurodegenerative diseases that we are coming across every day. And, and the studies are showing this is increasing at a dramatic rate. These are the ones that sort of frighten me the most and probably one of my key motivations for doing intermittent fasting. Now, there are obviously the scientific reasons for considering, you know, incorporating intermittent fasting 
in your routine. But there are also some personal reasons or I guess you could say some um, emotional and psychological reasons why you know intermittent fasting might be good for you. And I can share with you some of the reasons why I like to do intermittent fasting. I find when I fast, I have, um, I have so much more energy. I jump out of bed with more energy. Um, I don't, amazingly, I actually don't feel hungry. A huge amount of focus and concentration skills. I find also that when I'm fasting and when I've had my first meal after fasting, I will be, I will lean towards a more healthier meal than rather than snacking on like a chocolate bar or, you know, or a, a fatty muesli bar. You know, I make a much more conscious effort of what is the first meal that I'm going to put into my stomach that's empty after fasting. I also find that I sleep a lot better when I've been fasting. And most importantly, I just feel better. I feel like my body has recalibrated, you know, especially if I've had, you know, a weekend full of like lots of restaurant food or, or processed food. If I fast, I feel like I've recalibrated myself back together again. Now you want, might be wondering, like, how do I fit in intermittent fasting in my routine? And I think the key is if you want to try doing this, you've got to have it in your routine so that you don't actually think about it, you just do it. So my routine with intermittent fasting is I have a very early dinner on Sunday night, sort of around five o'clock, but no later than six. I then don't eat anything else other than obviously I make sure I stay hydrated the whole time and you know, I'll make sure I go to bed early. I'll then wake up in the morning, um, you know, I, I might go for a run. If I'm not feeling like it, I won't. Um, it depends on my energy levels. But generally speaking, because I'm fasting, I do actually have more energy than normal. I'll go for a run, I'll make sure I stay hydrated. Um, and then I will, generally speaking, have my first um, meal or food around about 11 o'clock. So by then, I've probably squeezed in about 14 to, to 18 hours, depending on what t exactly what time I finished my last meal. For the remainder of the day, I take it easy. I don't gorge because I actually don't even feel like gorging. Your stomach does actually shrink a lot, so you don't need much food to eat after fasting. You feel full quite quickly. I will then try, but not always, if I can, incorporate one more day of intermittent fasting. And normally I like to try and make it Thursday evening. So Rocco and I will have an early meal together and then I will apply the same principle where I, and I will skip breakfast the following day and have my first meal again around about 11 o'clock or when I feel really hungry and feel like I actually do need to put something, something of substance back into my stomach. I always listen to my body. If my body says, no, I don't want to fast, I don't do it. The moment my body says that it's hungry and wants food, I make sure I, f I feel that need. If somebody invites me out to catch up for dinner or, or drinks with friends, on, especially on a Thursday night, I completely skip the fasting and of course I go and catch up with my friends. This does not dictate my social life. And I, so I hope you found this of interest. I've got lots more um, health and fitness tips I'm going to be sharing with, with you through Lifestyle Love. Again, I want to stress this is not about weight loss intermittent fasting. It is about living a happier, healthier life. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you've liked it. Ciao for now and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.